Okay, we're gonna do this is uh, the promo video. We're gonna do that, right? Uh, what the series or this new playlist or whatever we're gonna make it on YouTube is. Uh, I guess first off, introductions. I'm Ray Ko. Uh, I'm uh, one of the Azure Global Black Belts on the Cloud Native Computing and uh, Digital App Innovation team at Microsoft. Uh, and uh, with me uh, is my friend and peer, uh, Diego. Diego, you wanna introduce yourself? Hey, Diego, um, App Innovation team as well. And Ray and I are on this new um, series that uh, we're calling it. Uh, I already forgot. It was hilarious. <laughs> Makers. So Makers. Makers, where uh, Ray and I will interchange different roles here. Um, I'll be sometimes the maker. Sometimes I'll be um, like the pro dev side. Yeah. And, and like the whole point of the series is, uh, so a customer scenario. So we work a lot with customers, work a lot of internal folks, um, and we get questions all the time. Sometimes it's coming from the direction of, uh, in, in this case, we're talking about Power Apps developers, right? Folks are making sort of front-end UI applications that hook into what we call the back-end uh, services. So things that, you know, as uh, Diego mentioned, you know, terminology pro devs or enterprise developers you might hear. And there's a bit of a chasm, right? Like we've got this sort of front-end WYSIWYG system that, helps you build apps very quickly uh, that people can use. And then you've got these backend API, you know, very much the traditional way of building apps on the backend. And there's this sort of gray area in terms of terminology that's new stuff that's being invented here on the left. There's sort of like the older enterprise lingo and terminology on the right. Uh, and so the series is, uh, you know, not meant necessarily for the pro devs, although you're more than welcome to watch. It's more for you know, our, our makers of this big, our power apps, power users, power developers uh, on the left hand side, if this was a spectrum of, you know, development and technology um, and helping to bridge and understand, you know, what is it that you you should know? How do you, how does this stuff work under the hood? Uh, what are you going to be asked uh, of from the, you know, uh, enterprise folks side? So Dago will ask questions on your behalf, right? To someone who presumably <laughs> is a pro dev. Um, <laughs> And help to answer the questions that you know the the this uh, esoteric world of you know enterprise development and security and all this stuff is a little less of a pain for you. So hopefully, um, you know Ray and I are are big into um, doing it yourself. Uh, we we know with our hobbies and things like that. So hopefully this is a little bit of that that uh, the idea of when you get started into something or making it. Um, you don't have all of the the pieces, or maybe you don't even understand where should we start. So hopefully, what we're gonna do here is get our own experience and translate that into something that is appealing for folks to to get started with uh, with Power Apps. So uh, hope you enjoy this series. Uh, we'll try to keep them short and to the point, and uh, let us know what you think. Sounds good. See you, folks.